Hi guys, how are you all? I hope uh, you're you're all alright. Um, today I'm just gonna do the quick unboxing and uh, set, setting up and uh, install of uh, Ring contact sensor, the second generation or generation generation two. The only difference really, um, in my opinion, is uh, this is much slimmer, smaller design from the previous one and uh, obviously the battery is uh, different it uses those coin uh, type battery so first is you, you just have to make sure that your alarm is on this arm otherwise uh, if you leave, leave it on arm it will trigger the alarm so basically you just go to your dashboard and disarm it so setting up go to your dashboard now I just put uh, stickies on my other half and my son because I don't know how to blur um, their faces. So you go to the dashboard and then you go to um, set up a device, go to security and then uh, go to sensors and choose or select contact sensor second generation or second gen so just a tip um, you can pull the tub so to activate the battery so as soon as you scan it it will automatically connect to your device uh, in this instance I didn't pull the tub I just scanned it you can see and then uh, yeah pull the tab at the back so, but you can either pull it beforehand so at this point it's trying to connect adding device configuring and it's now added so after this you can either you know um, just press continue or uh, or play the video so, and then you decide where to put it so I'm just gonna put it by the window it's a uh, it's my son's uh, um, bedroom so um, you can change the name the contact sensor if you want to or just leave it as it is so in this instance, I'm just gonna change it. And I put, uh, guess what? Um, handsome. Again, it's not me, it's uh, it's my son's bedroom. And uh, he already got one. So just an additional. Again, just click continue. And then it will show you how to how to you know put it in. It's 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 all self-explanatory once you you know once you set up your your device. So it's a success as you can see. Setting up is complete. And then uh, from this point, I am uh, just a few check, just to make sure that it's uh, you know added. Again, going back to the dashboard, and then that's it. So now I'm going to show you how to uh, fully install it in the window. So basically you just have to wet wipes or wet tissues, whatever you can grab, clean the window frame and dry it uh, properly. So just a tip, um, when you peel the 3M and uh, place it by the window, don't press it too hard just in case you, you, you know you change your mind 
about the placement of the contact sensor because you can interchange it you can change it the other way around so what I did in this instance I put the sensor itself the one that says ring onto my left side and the the magnet on the right So just pr press it gently and um, put the magnet beside make sure that it's the, it's not uh, the gap is not that wide that will avoid that will avoid contact so in this instance I put it this way but uh, the other way uh, the other day I have to change the other way around uh, I have decided to place the the contact sensor the, the sensor on the right side because uh, I remember I left it open and then it trained so I have to interchange the the position so settings is um, set up the notifications the open and close notification that's it opening and closing the window you'll get that notification instantly and this is the, uh, how it is when the door is uh, when the window is open notification closed and you get another notification and it's it's done thanks for watching